the game has heated up and I'm now on my final hoop with the blue ball. And once I've turned that through hoop number six, I'll be able to peg out or become a rover. We'll explain that in a second. And that just went through. It rocked through and back. So I've got another go and I'm going to send it back the other way. If I had hit the peg with my blue, I would have pegged out. And when you peg out both girl balls, you win the game. However, I can choose to keep playing the blue and use it for roquet and croquet, in which case it's known as a rover. Steph is on hoop five with her red, playing against my black on hoop five as well. She's chosen to roquet. Send my ball off and we'll position her ball close to the hoop. I need to get my black through hoop number five. Steph's in the way. I'll try and roquet. And we've got a result. I have another shot with my black as I've just run a hoop and uh, I'll send it past my row cage blue. Stephanie is on her yellow on hoop number four, preparing to go through. The rover will not be useful for me in play because my black ball is nearly through the last hoop, so I may as well peg out. And I'll hit the ball out of bounds. Stephanie has to position herself the other side of the red hoop to continue. I need to position myself the other side of this red hoop. Stephanie's just getting the angle for hoop number four. And it's trapped in the jaws of the hoop. I now need to run hoop number six. And it's through again. Stephanie needs to run her hoop through number five. And it's through. On to number six. Final shot of the match. This will clinch the match. The game. That's the end of the game. The best man won. The best woman lost. Cream tea, anybody? Yes, Cheers. Here's to you and your croquet. Golf croquet in the garden next. Mm. Cream scum. <laughs>